New developments now in the governor's controversial truck toll proposal. Today, a Republican policy group and the state's trucking association both presented alternative plans to raise enough revenue to fix the state's dilapidated roads and bridges. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now with the details. Jen, it was another day of toll proposal fights in Rhode Island, and today we heard from all the parties involved, the GOP, the Trucking Association, and the governor's office. With the backdrop of an East Providence bridge in need of repair, a Republican policy group fires back at Governor Raimondo's plan to toll trucks to raise money to repair bridges. There are so many holes in this report, things that aren't mentioned. We can fix all of our bridges with existing revenue. We do not have to go down the road of tolls and hurt our economy even more. Ramondo's Roadworks plan has been under fire from opponents since she announced it in June. Soon after this Wednesday morning news conference, the Rhode Island Trucking Association put out their own plan to fix the state's bridges. They proposed raising the diesel tax and registration fees on truckers, but the governor's office dismissed that plan, saying in a statement it wouldn't raise enough money, plus it would put too high of a burden on Rhode Island truckers. Raimondo's administration went on to defend her Roadworks tolling plan, but critics worry it's too risky and opens the possibility possibility of tolling more than just trucks. Frankly, those assurances can't be trusted. I'm in government and I fear that passenger cars will be tolled. So I can only imagine what the people out there are thinking as well. And the governor has said over and over again they will not toll passenger cars. But as you just heard, their critics still believe, though, that with the infrastructure going up, there is the possibility of that. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.